Alrighty guys, just want to show you what I picked up a couple of days ago. And here I've got a whole set of Transformers. And these are all Generation 1 vintage Transformers from back in the mid 80s or 84, 85 around there. But anyways, I was at my local toys and collectible hobby store and someone had this set of Transformers on consignment as a whole, whole lot here. And I was looking at it and I was like, really wanting to pick this guy up for a few weeks and I decided to jump on it. The main reason why I got I wanted to go ahead and pick this guy uh, th this setup was number one for Soundwave which is my favorite transformer all time and Soundwave came with all his accessories both of his cannons, his three missile and also buzzsaw in there included so added another, uh, another Soundwave to my collection and also another one I want to uh, collect right there is Shockwave. I had him uh, when I was collecting these guys back in the 80s when I was a kid. And I wanted to... He was also one of my favorites because he was one of the first Transformers that had an electronic function with sound effects and and uh, light up features. But yeah, so... Decided to jump on this guy, uh, this set here, and I'm pretty happy. Got it for a really good price. All this plus some of the boxes I got also included are three boxes, all original vintage Transformer boxes. These are not knockoffs or reissues or counterfeit stuff. And got it for a good price. For all of this, this uh, set was I I paid three seventy five for them, so I think I got a pretty good deal. Uh, most of them are com complete. There are a couple of them that are missing a few things, but the first thing is these uh, con the uh, constructor cons here. This is a complete set, and it includes all the accessories to also uh, make the constructor cons into Devastator. And you can see all the each one has his weapons as well. This is a really tough set to ha uh, to come by complete. A lot of times you're going to be missing either the weapons, but this guy is 100% complete. And also I did get a little, came with a little instruction, original instruction sheet here to form, as you can see, Devastator on the back here. But Constructor Cons, I never got them as a kid, so I'm pretty happy I, I got them now. So, so I can finally say I got a set of constructor cons, but that one is 100% all there, all the weapons and accessories. As you can see, Devastator's head, pretty cool. Another transformer here, and this one is in excellent shape. All the stickers are really nicely on there, no peeling. And as far as the figure itself, all the paint apps are really nice. Really, there's not this thing is in near mint condition as you can see there's not really much anywhere on this guy and he also came with his box as well the box a little beat up but well, that's what you expect for a toy that's 30 years going on 30 years old but and this is a transformer Decepticon dirge and he came with little his little fists as well when he transforms into a robot figure and then also I got here and this one is incomplete this is Sandstorm a triple changer Autobot and I'm missing his gun but that's about it on him he he's pretty much just gotta get his gun and he'll be completed and this here next I got this is Rodimus Prime after the death of of course Optimus Prime he took over and this guy is pretty is complete as well. Got his w big weapon, big cannon gun there. Also came with two of these little blast shields that go on the back here. And when this opens up, his gun pops up. Got that there. And then here I got, and this is incomplete. I'm missing a bunch of stuff. I think a spoiler, some of his cannons, and some of his. Uh, his guns as well, I think his gun as well. And oh yeah, some, I think he has a couple of pieces in the back of his shoulder, wings or whatever you call them, but Autobot Jazz, and this one is incomplete. Got that 
And then I got here Autobot Tracks. And he's complete with all his weapons. Nice little Corvette Autobot. And there's his gun there, and he came with his box. Came with the box as well. A little bit. Not too bad shape. There's a little tear on the bottom. And then, oh, yeah, Rodimus Prime came with his box as well. Little beat up on the edges, on the side, little taped up, little tears here and there. But, and then I got one Dinobot back here, and that's Sludge. And he's incomplete, don't have his weapons or his sword with him, so... But yeah, overall, not too bad. Pretty good, I think a pretty good price for what I paid for all of these Transformers. And like I said, mainly wanted to pick him up for Shockwave. Unfortunately, on a Shockwave, his... Maybe his soundboard, I mean, his soundboard does not work. His lights work. The lights, but just no sound effects. His sound, the soundboard is probably damaged, not working. And then the other thing is the rubber hosing right here has some cracks and it's kind of come loose right there. But other than that, he's been in pretty good shape. There's really not much wear on on Shockwave. And he was always, always one of my favorites in the original cartoon series. And he comes with his, when he transforms into his gun, he comes with his uh, front cannon piece there. But yeah, all in all, so uh, this is my little G1 Vintage Transformer pickup for this week. And I'm going to be looking to uh, pick up some more. Like I said a few weeks ago, I'm going to be trying to recoup or recollect all the Transformers I had when I was a kid. And this is a start. And with this set, I got one, some some of the ones that I never got when I was a kid. Like the Constructicons and Sandstorm and tracks there but I'm pretty happy got another sound wave uh, to my collection as well so all right so that's pretty much it for this collection update on my transformer g1 series if you have any questions or comments let me know all right thanks for watching guys